everyone, this is One Nation Indivisible again, bringing you another Android video. What I have for you today is a Boost Mobile ZTE Warp 4.3 inch screen. Runs a 1 gigahertz processor. It's a very snappy phone. I was able to pick it up for uh, for only $140 off the Boost website. There's Boost right there. Let me log this thing in. The reason I'm showing you this today, in case you're not familiar with the plethora of apps you can pick up for Android, uh, here's one in particular. It's called Unified Remote. I have an icon for it right there. Now, if you notice, I got a remote screen. You got up, down, left, right, an OK button. Down there's a Windows button. And uh, luckily, I have a Windows 7 PC, so let's press this button. And what this app does is open up Windows Media Center using your Wi-Fi connection. So you can be anywhere in the house as long as you have a Wi-Fi signal and it will work with Windows Media Center. And uh, in the past I thought about picking up a uh, uh, touch screen remote and those things cost $100 so hey why not have your phone do it for you. And uh, it has haptic feedback you can feel it vibrate when you press the buttons and uh, I've added a couple plugins here. There, there's apps you can use to change the theme of Windows Media Center and this is an often unused application that comes bundled with Windows. Um, what I'm using to modify this um, or modify Windows Media Center is a program called Media Center Studio and um, it gives you a ton of extra features including the ability to grab the metadata for all your movies that are stored on your computer. Um, notice uh, these are AVI files and uh, with the Media Studio plugin for Media Center it will now provide you with a synopsis of each movie, uh, give you the rating, the IMDB rating um, so it, it's a really glossy finish for what just may be a bunch of files and folders for your movie collection and um, there is also a Hulu plugin in which uh, this program allows you to easily switch between Media Center and the Hulu remote which is great because the remote setup for uh, Hulu is slightly different and I'll show you on the screen it'll bring you back here there's Netflix uh, built in uh, built right into uh, the Media Center there's a Hulu, this is Hulu desktop it's easily searchable on Google and this will allow you to uh, quickly it, what it will do is it will close Media Center, bring up Hulu and then it will bring you back to Media Center when you close it which is great um, and all you need to do with this unified remote program is click here Hulu desktop and now you have your Hulu desktop controls and there it is once again works great it's not a moose not a bear. I've also Not tried a this program out we have our own on a uh, Kindle Fire. Works great. So uh, just something to check out, and I'll be back with more. I'll be back with more.